Hi friends, I'm Emily Retro and let's do laundry together the vintage way. I've lived in my house for seven years now and the very first project we ever did was install this clothesline. It's held up really well, my dad helped us install it and I've always wanted to have my own clothesline. I've been dreaming about it for years. It's great for the environment. It saves money over time. Using a clothesline is better for your clothes anyway because your dryer will take fibers out of your clothing and your sheets, so they'll get ruined faster. It's also a great way to get outside. Technically, it's a chore, but Doing laundry involving a clothesline for me is more like a hobby. I look forward to it every weekend. Plus, line dry clothes have the best smell. They smell so good because wet clothing and wet fibers, they are out in the sun and a chemical reaction happens that creates that very nostalgic smell that I'm sure a lot of you remember. Let's talk about a very important factor when it comes to doing clotheslines the weather and the time of day that you should shoot for. The weather ideally should be sunny, a light breeze and not humid. And of course we can't always depend on that. So like right now it's 68 and cloudy. So it's a little chilly, but there is a light breeze. It's perfect. I'll do it in almost any weather. Of course, not when it's raining, not when it's snowing, but besides that, the biggest thing that you got to watch out for is how humid it is. If it is really humid, you're going to need a lot more time to dry your clothes. For time of day, morning is best because then you have all day to dry your clothes. Um, or early afternoon is great too. If you do it too late in the day, then you're going to be fighting the sun and you are definitely going to lose that battle. I have lost that battle many times. What should you wear to use your clothesline? I always use something that has big pockets. This is a house dress that was actually from my Oma and she has huge pockets. They were normally filled with Kleenexes, but I fill them with clothespins. It's very convenient. It's also very airy and breezy and easily washable. House dresses are the best. I'm going to link some of those below so that you can get one if you're interested. If I'm not in the mood to wear a house dress and I just want to wear regular old pajamas or whatever I'm wearing around the house, then I will use an apron that has two big pockets. Vintage aprons are awesome, but some of them only have one pocket, which isn't very convenient. So I will link some vintage aprons below that have two pockets at least, so then you can use those to hold tons of clothespins. I also use a vintage clothespin bag. I found this at a flea market, the Burley Park Flea Market in Michigan. I got it for $5. I have a hook where I put it. It's very convenient. I will link some of these below also. I don't have any childhood experience of doing this, so this is stuff that I've learned as an adult. Tips and tricks to get my laundry dried as quickly as possible, how to hang clothes, which way to do it. So if you have other suggestions, you can definitely let me know in the comments, but this is what works for me, so I'm going to show you how I do it. I wash my clothing like normal in the washing machine with whatever detergent is cheapest and when I first take the wet laundry out of the laundry basket I give it a good shake and this will help get wrinkles out, it gets rid of loose lint and it will help the item not be stiff. So I start by hanging the items that I don't want to get wrinkled first. So that would be dresses, t-shirts, and dress shirts. T-shirts have stretchy material and so when you hang them by the shoulders they can create these dents and they can also get stretched out so hanging it from the bottom hem works best. With cotton dresses like this they aren't stretchy and so I don't have to worry about pinning them on the shoulder and them getting stretched and I've never had a problem with them getting creases or dents in it. It's totally fine. Plus I think anything that I can hang the normal way, I think it looks a lot cuter. Also with dresses, if you hang them the opposite direction, a lot of times they flare out and they're gonna take up a lot more room on the clothesline compared to the shoulders. This dress is actually vintage and I wash a lot of my vintage clothing in the washing machine, but there's certain dresses and special types of clothing that are made of different types of material that are really fragile and delicate and I have a blog post on how I wash special vintage clothing and I will link that below. Pants I hang regularly, I just do that at the waistband and if you're worried about them getting wrinkled I button them up. When sweaters are wet they can be really heavy and because they're made of knit they can be quite stretchy and so hanging them 
either by the shoulders or even upside down can stretch them out of shape and we definitely do not want to do that and so i will put them on a drying rack this is one of the drying racks that i have it collapses and is totally foldable and so with special stretchy items like this i will just lay it out or you can lay it like this too if you have a bunch of items then you can lay them all in a row. This one is great. I have three of these just like this. And then I also bought a special one from Ikea that can hold way more clothing. And I just bought this one last year and it's been really great. So if you have an Ikea near you, it's awesome. I really don't like to iron my dress shirts or my button ups in general. And so what works really well for me is I will button them up all the way. And then if there's any type of wrinkles, I hand press those wrinkles out and i also fix the collar to make sure that it's all set as it should be and then once it's dry it's pretty good to go so just take a few minutes to do this hand pressing and fixing the collar it's worth it because it'll save you time you won't have to iron all your clothes towels take forever to dry so i try to hang them up as quickly as possible after i get the clothing hung that i don't want wrinkled and one of the ways to get them to dry even faster that i found works for me is I alternate the ends. Instead of hanging it evenly on both sides so they match, I alternate it so that the wind will catch the longer end and it separates them a bit. If they are stuck together and they're even, sometimes they'll cling to each other and it won't get dry as quickly. With sheets, I just throw it over halfway and pin. Make sure you pin though, because I know it's tempting to not bother pinning it, but one gust of wind and it's blown away. So I always make sure to pin it. And I don't worry about alternating it because sheets dry really fast. When it comes to vintage sheets, which this is, I don't wash them any differently than my regular sheets. I wash them with my regular laundry. So I got this one at a thrift store. My mom actually found it for me and I just threw it in with my regular laundry. But if you have a particularly smelly vintage sheet uh, or vintage tablecloth, something that smells like really gross, musty basement, mothballs, um, I do have a blog post on how I take care of that and I will link that. Sometimes you'll have so much laundry that you start running out of clothespins. And one of the ways that I save on clothespins and also save space on the clothesline is by pairing up socks together and just using one clothespin. I mean, if you've got 12 pairs of socks, that saves quite a few clothespins. Another way that I save space on my clothesline is using this cute little octopus. This is from Ikea. I sometimes will even double up socks on one thing each funny story so my dad actually cannot stand clothesline dried clothes and the reason why is because when he was a kid my oma and opa line dried all their clothes in a clothesline in the basement and they did this for winter months so that they didn't have to use the dryer then i don't know why they didn't do it in the summer outside though maybe they didn't want their neighbors seeing their laundry but because they only did it in the basement the towels and everything would be super stiff and my dad would say that the pants were so stiff that they could stand up by themselves so i guess i understand why he doesn't really like line dried clothes but the reason that we do it outside is because the wind helps create movement and prevents the clothing from getting too stiff all right all of our laundry is out so now we wait how long you wait depends on the things that you're drying and what the weather is. So if you got lots of towels, you're going to maybe be waiting four hours. If you have a whole bunch of sheets, it could be less than an hour. If it's really sunny and really windy, your laundry is going to dry really fast. If there's humidity in the air, you should plan on it being a few more hours. Best part about doing it in the morning is you can hang it up and you can go run errands. You can take all the time you need. You're in no hurry and by the afternoon, everything is perfectly dry. Time to take down our laundry. It's been about three hours. And when I take my clothes off, I put the clothespins in my apron and I give the clothing item a good shake. I do this to get off any excess lint and to get off any bugs that may have decided to take a nap on my shirt. Then I will fold it right here while I'm outside and put it in my laundry basket and that way it makes it a lot easier when I bring it inside. Then I empty my pocket full of clothespins into my folder. I hook the holder onto my laundry basket and I'm ready to go inside. If you have any suggestions on how I could do things differently, you can leave those in the comments. And if you learned anything new, you can let me know.
If you don't have a clothesline at home, you can always use drying racks. That's what I use during the winter months and that works great. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more vintage lifestyle videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye friends.